Well, we're also following new developments in the situation involving Anison County State's Attorney Ava Vakos. She's getting pushback today after sending an email to law enforcement agencies in her county yesterday saying she no longer feels safe around them. This comes after Vakos was arrested last week on a DUI refusal charge while at a crime scene. And now law enforcement agencies are calling her comments into question. NBC5 Sid Bule got a copy of the emails from the Addison County Sheriff and spoke with him today. She joins us live from the newsroom with the response. Sid? Alice Bryan, local law enforcement are calling Vacos's actions completely unprofessional and disappointing, but that comes after she claims to no longer feel safe around them. Plus, she questioned the intellect of local police during the exchange. On Wednesday, Vacos emailed Addison County law enforcement saying her office now requires citation requests to be filed 60 days ahead of time and other strict rules about bringing cases forward for prosecution. It's unclear what prompted her original email during the exchange. A Vermont State Police Lieutenant responded asking her to clarify the topic during the next chief's meeting. That's when Vegas replied saying she no longer feels safe around law enforcement. And that will mean she will only join chief's meetings by video, conflicting with her plan to conduct educational trainings. The state's attorney goes on to say she would have, quote, loved to teach grammar skills to bring police up to the elementary school level, adding that she has an illustrated book to use that has pictures of dragons. The sheriff in the same county where Vegas works is concerned about what this means for their interactions going forward. It does make me concerned about submitting cases to her, and I think the rest of law enforcement here in Addison County feels the same way where if she feels this way about us so openly, um, how can we feel good about sending her cases and feeling like we're, we're gonna have our side uh, portrayed correctly. Ultimately, at the end of the email exchange, Vacos agreed that her email was unprofessional and apologized. NBC5 reached out to Vacos and her attorney multiple times today, but neither one responded to our request for comment in time for this report. Live in the newsroom, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.